Hey, how's it going? We're uh, still at it here. This is actually day three, but uh, day two did not go so well. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why that is. Didn't have a whole lot to do with the AC job or the actual uh, installation of the aftermarket AC kit. So I do want to show you some of the progress we've made with just the AC install, but I ran into some uh, other issues. As you start tearing apart the car for the first time ever, when you buy these cars, you start running into problems and seeing things that probably weren't done correctly. and Need to make amends again i just try to have to make some patches uh, on some holes that i found in the tranny tunnel um, but again that has nothing to do with the ac job that i'm trying to show for everybody else what you want to show is some of the parts here that uh, you'll have to take out remove underneath the dash uh, as per the instructions for the classic auto air kit and uh, those you can uh, take out and just throw away or toss and then talk about a couple of the parts you may want to buy um, in anticipation of the job so We'll take a look over here, and uh, the first piece I want to talk about is your uh, Astro Ball event kit that uh, comes with, or that should be already in your car. Now, what I did is I went and I purchased these in anticipation of the job, and you can see it was a good call. See you how it's cracked; it's just old. You can see the coloring is all distorted, so <clears throat> I, I purchased those in anticipation from MPD, which was a good call. Because like I said, you can kind of see these aren't in the best repair. And the uh, repops I got from MPD are uh, very accurate. They look nice. So um, I've already installed that on the, on the right side, on the passenger side. But I've left the one out for the um, driver's side. Some of the parts you've got to take off, and these are for your air, <coughs> air vent ducts. There are three screws, and uh, that pulls out. And again, these, these pull out from that. And uh, you know, these would go to the Astro Balls, but those are, you know, rip them out. And then they provide you with block off plates, which I'll show you in a minute. So you remove those on both sides and toss those. Also, uh, you're, you'll no longer need, uh, this is actually the, there's a ferrule they call it that goes on this little silver button. And uh, that's what pushes in and out for your, um, uh, your, uh, ventilation for the Astro Balls. So again, you'll pitch those, you'll no longer need those. The only thing is you might want to consider where that ferrule knob that goes in and out of your dash to pull this open and close. You might want to buy like a black plug or something. I'm going to have to figure out you know, what I'm going to do with that. So uh, again, let's uh, walk around and take a look uh, inside the car. And again, I've got this tore up probably a little bit more than most of you are going to have to do because of this uh, carpet installation I'm going to end up doing. And uh, I can show you some of the pieces here where you know, I'm trying to patch up over here uh, with the holes I found in the tranny tunnel. So I've actually cut some sheet metal and I'm riveting that on. And then eventually, sometime here, I'm going to... Um, move through this and uh, put a uh, some soundproofing material over that and um, you know some new padding and new carpeting and also there's a dash uh, not a, I keep saying dash there's a firewall pad that I bought also that will go the length of this but before I do I've got to get these patches put in now if you look in here here's what we were just talking about um, we can see up in there there's a black block off plate in there I don't know if you can see that or not um, but uh, that block off plate it was really difficult to get at. Again, here's that lever where you're not going to have a hole because there's no lever for this any longer. 